Hi guys, Chris here, and today we're going to be doing a Let's Play. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to do this that often. I certainly won't be doing my entire journey from 1 to 90, because I think that'll be a bit boring for you guys. Probably be a bit boring for me. And I'm not sure I can talk that long without just falling asleep really. But, a friend of mine, Porowala, is doing a Let's Play from 1 to 90. He's much more interesting than me, but he had asked if I could do an almost guest appearance on his on his let's play so I think I'm on episode 4 but I'll, I'll put some links in the description so you can go and see his channel it's really good it's good fun nice and easy to watch and this is the paladin that I'm using in that video so my little newbie protection paladin and today we're just going to do a bit of running around and you can see things from my perspective and, and see what's going on okay so here we are we're in Westfall at the moment I think in the video that I was in on the other channel, we were in the Night Elf area, in Teldrassil. But I've come back here, back to the human place. And, oh, goodness me. Level 90. Very nice transmog there. Look at that. Beautiful. Anyway. <laughs> well, that's shown me up straight away. Much better looking paladin than me. But yeah, we're in Westfall, and we're doing... Whoa, 665, nice. We are doing... What are we doing? Westfall Stew. It's alive. And we've just finished. Times are tough, so I'm going to hand this in now. Be careful. Now, I've read all these before, so I'm not going to sit there and read them, because that'll be boring. We're just going to blitz through it. I'm all about the combat. I'm all about the flying magical shields of death and justice and glory and all that sort of thing so we need to kill some gore tusks there we go 3 out of 6, not too bad and we're 65% on the way through so actually levelling up really quickly still and we're going to kind of move towards this way to get one of these overloaded harvest golems so we need to click this heart thing on them out of range oh, and we're in energised harvest reaper is a change of pace. There we go. Right. <laughs> twenty five. I don't know what the patient skill twenty five these. As fun as this is. Charge. This move's not bad. This does loads of damage. That other move's rubbish. You just have to stand there hitting one target. Pathetic. What's going on? Just enough to kill one of them. Twenty-five, almost done. This is a much better way of doing it. Just keep spamming. 
spamming this crazy move. And one more. Oh, yeah, there it is. Gotcha. And that'll be enough for now. Alright, back to the stew gathering. Gore Tusk stew. Oh man, I mean that's almost my entire health bar. If it wasn't for resilience I could basically one-shot myself. That is crazy. It never used to be like this. Low level damage. I don't know what's happened. I'm not even wearing the heirlooms. If I had the heirlooms on that would probably hit for at least 700, 800. pick up some of the heirlooms. Going to be doing some PvP on the way up to 90. And then you can buy the ones with honour. I think I think that's not cheating. I don't know. Parry? <laughs> I hate parrying and dodging, uh, well, being dodged at this level because you've got so few attacks and all in this massive cooldown. You have to stand there auto attacking like this. And the mob's almost dead. It's like, come on! I suppose it's not like that on every class. Just, just the paladin. Okay, that's all the flanks. Now we just need vultures. I'm really hoping there are some here. There's one, but it's dead. Don't need any more gore tusks. There's another, but it's dead. And another. Some unscrupulous individual has killed them all. How am I going to make Westfall stew now? Sad times. Oh, we'll go and hand this in. Oh, there's a, another player there. Monk. I never got on with Monk. It just didn't have the same impact for me as when they released Death Knight. Death Knight was Death Knight was cool. You know, its own special starting area. Goodness me. Now oh, there's a paladin. I've already been put to shame once. Look at that. Full AQ forty gear. Elementium Reinforced Bulwark from Chromagus and of course Thunder Fury. Look at that beastly piece of kit. Mark of Cthune. It is slightly unfortunate that I can't check if that is a true vanilla character, i.e. did he have all those items in vanilla. Because he hasn't got any Nax items, so it's really difficult to sell. And you kind of think maybe, you know, the maybe they would have Nax items, but then would you be doing Nax as a rep paller? Probably not. I don't know. They were the good old days. Oh, new gloves. Okie dokie. Light bless you. I did really want to get this stew done. Just can't seem to find any of those flesh rippers, which is a bit of a pain. Hoping some of them will respawn if we go over here. But yeah, I'm just trying to get to level 15 at the moment so that uh, we can do some dungeons. I think that'll make a good video. I might might not 
talk on that one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe I should. Maybe it's important to show the sort of communication. But then at the same time, I think it's most people who's experiencing WoW is not going to be where they're talking to the tank. They're going to be queuing in Dungeon Finder. They're going to be on their own. So... Hmm. I'll have to think about that. I'll have to think about that. Oh, Coyote. Yay, there's one. One. I was hoping for a few more. Oh, is that another one? Yeah. Brilliant. Should have this down now. Oh, rare. Nice. Voltros. You're mine. Oh, and level up as well. Pick up that item. Flash of light. <laughs> Another move that I'll never use. Or very rarely use. You just don't really get the option. The, the, since the changes a while back, healing with. well, outside of procs and cooldowns is just a non option for, for retribution and protection paladins. I mean, Word of Glory or Eternal Flame is only really worth using when you've got the Bastion of Glory procs as a tank and you're only going to use Flash of Light with Selfless Healer so it's a shame really because I enjoyed you know being able to off heal reasonably well I mean back in vanilla all the retribution gear and well what retribution there was had spell power, well, spell damage and healing on it, so you actually had some reasonable healing. It was only your mana pool that you were restricted by, and you could you could still like off heal in a pinch if you weren't spending the entire fight buffing. It was just nice, nice to be able to do that. I think it's kind of lost. You've lost that sort of defensive aspect of the paladin compared to the warrior. It's changed slightly, but here we are. We'll hand in this stew, and then that'll be it for today. Leveled up as well. Hey there. Hello. Safe travels. Just a new belt as well. There we go. I was kind of expecting another quest, actually. Oh yeah, there we go. Well met. Be careful. Cool. Oh, back in again. What is this? Can I help you? Be careful. See you around. Okay, and now we're off down there. Excellent. Well, I'll leave it here then, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and like, favourite, and subscribe if you found this entertaining at all. Um, and just leave a comment below if you've got any feedback. Yeah, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.